Good morning, children. Children, hope everyone is staying safe and healthy at your home. Now, today, from today, we will start with the new chapter that is chapter number four, materials. And in this materials, metals and non-metals. Before I teach you about metals and non-metals, children, let us study something about matter. When I say matter. The first definition comes for matter is anything which occupies space and has mass that is called matter. Then matter, there are two kinds of matter. The first kind is substances. And the second kind is mixtures. Our portion is from here only. Substances. We will not go through with mixtures in this standard that is standard 8. Under substances we will study about metals and non-metals. Then further if I have to teach you then substances are divided into two types. What are two types of substances? Number 1. Elements and number two, compounds. Let me complete the schematic diagram for mixtures also. Here there are two types of mixture. I hope everyone knows about that. Number one, homogeneous. And number two, heterogeneous. This portion, it's not required. For making you to understand a little bit easy, homogeneous, it should be an example I can take, air. Air is a mixture of gases. Homogeneous, certain ratio of gases. For heterogeneous, uh, proportion or ratio is not equal. That is why they do not mix with each other. So I can take an example of Water plus oil. Clear? But this portion is not required for our standard 8 syllabus. We have to learn over here. So what I taught you, let me recall. Matter. How many kinds of matter are there? Substances and mixture. How many kind of substances are there? Elements and compounds. How many type of mixtures are there? Homogeneous, heterogeneous. Now children, from here, elements up to till date, we are knowing there are, there are around 118 elements are there. But to study 118, it is very difficult. So what they have done, what the scientists have done to make us understand easier, they divided elements into three groups. That is number one, metals, number two, <clears throat> non metals, and sorry, children, and number third, metalloids. Clear now, children. <clears throat> what they are talking about that elements have been considered into three group. It has been divided into three group. Why? Because 118 elements, it's difficult to study. Till date, we know 91 are metals, 22 are non-metals and 5 are metalloids. So 91 plus 22 plus 5 is how much? 118. We have to study in this portion that is only metals and non-metals. What? Let me tell you about a short definition for metalloids. Metalloids are those elements which has a property of both. That is metals and 
non metals so when you will study about the properties physical properties chemical properties of metals and non metals you will find that metalloids are having both properties what metals are having and what non metals are having let me give you certain example but children let me clear it out metalloids are not in our syllabus so general information i gave you that it has the property of both metals and non metals example if certain people have goes into the mind what element can be a metalloid i'll give you it's boron whose symbol is capital b it's silicon that is si and three more are there so i'll put etc over here so it's not in the syllabus just a general information i gave you children now children here from substances we have to study only under elements part that is metals and non metals but let me because i have uh, divided the substance into two kinds elements and compounds so let me give you certain examples of compounds also what are compounds compounds are the substances which are formed by two different elements for example carbon plus oxygen will give you a compound which is carbon dioxide one example and hydrogen uh, plus o2 h2 plus o2 will give us h2o am i clear to h2 so this is a general topic of compound but this we don't have to learn let me give you certain example for metals metals can be your gold au silver ag what is au symbol of gold that also i'll teach you in the next topic gold symbol is au silver ag it's s i l v e r and there are lots lots means 91 around 91 metals are there so i'll put etc over here let's see for non metals non metal can be oxygen which can be o2 nitrogen which can be n2 and more that is around how much 22 so children next class we will study the physical properties of metals and non metals in your first page that is i think page number 44 there is a table 4.1 there is a table 4.1 don't do that table unless and until i will teach you the physical properties after you study the physical properties then only fill the table when i will tell you this schematic diagram this schematic diagram i'm repeating it you have to draw it in your class work copy in which with this video i am sending you the schematic diagram through an attachment so please draw it one more thing children i want to inform you that on 23rd that is saturday i will be taking your class test and that class test timing is 10:30 am morning to 11 am so i don't want further question to be asked children i will send you a link exactly at 10:30 you will take the mobile you will click on that link the, the link will be given on the description part click on the link you will uh, those are mcq questions you will mark the answer and below a submit portion is there where you will click on that submit automatically your paper the marks will come to me and your name will come to me so children all the best and hope uh, you understood what i taught you and if any doubt regarding the topic which i taught you you can ask me through campus care there certain student i could not able to reply because i found that the answers are little bit lengthy and the explanation will be much better when i am in front of you people so if i am late to reply 
Don't worry. Anyhow, I will write the answer. I'll click the photograph and I'll send you. So children, stay safe, stay healthy, have a nice day.